Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann, and today I want to talk about vulnerability. So for the last few days, I've been doing one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with my Sensi group, my team, and the same focus has come up time and time again in those conversations. And so when that happens, for me, it's a message saying that I need to share that message. Um, and also sometimes it's a, an opportunity for me to reflect on myself and see if I'm actually in that place of what I'm sharing or teaching or mentoring on um, and sometimes that is the case and I think in this case there is a little bit of that but I also feel very strongly compelled to share this message with you guys very often in our lives we will accommodate or change how we react or interact with someone based on their character or their attitude right? We hear that often that somebody's, somebody's attitude is very contagious and we can take that on very quickly. And so one of the things that I've learned in life is that allowing somebody to intimidate you, whether it's intimidate you for positive or intimidate you for negative, And the irony here is intimidate typically means for negative. That's how we, we relate to it. Um, that we tend to not be true to who we are or vocalize the way that we normally would. So let me give you an example. And I'm not talking about um, intimidation. I'm talking about vulnerability. So just follow me here for a moment. If you're in a relation, an abusive relationship and they are intimidating to you, what tends to happen is as the receptor of that, as the person receiving that intimidation, we become very guarded. Um, you've heard the term walking on eggshells around them. We tend to watch what we say as to not to upturn the apple cart. You know, we hear all of these terms and that's what it's related to, right? When somebody is intimidating you, we tend to allow them to be the ruler of our attitude or the way that we act when we are around them. Is that not true? True. Okay. Being vulnerable allows you to be a person who feels, interacts, and reacts the way that you were meant to. And being vulnerable means allowing people to see that, to see who you really are. Whether you're a person, person who would stand up to somebody or in this the intimidation case, stand up to them. Um, whether you're somebody who would not back down from somebody who is feeling pressured or unable to articulate or vocalize how they're feeling and sometimes that can come off as intimidation right being vulnerable allows you to take on a position of authority now isn't that ironic when you become vulnerable you empower yourself to be who you were meant to be to react in a way that is natural for you to listen and interact in a way that is natural for you. So for instance, if you are working with team members and you are fine, I'm going to use Sensi as an example because this is what, why it came up. Oftentimes we hear people say this, I just have no motivation. There's no spark. I can't get this business going. Um, I don't know what to do. Those are all key words for me as a mentor and a coach that says, ding, 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 they have no idea why they're doing this in the first place. They don't know what their why is. And in order to understand 
what your why is, you have to go to a vulnerable state. You have to, because a why is not a person, place, or thing, or noun. It is not a thing. Your why is a verb or an emotion. And in order to get to that emotion or verb, you need to dig deep. And in order to dig deep, you have to become vulnerable. So if you're struggling in your business, it's because you have no motivation to get out get up out of bed and do the thing that you are not succeeding at. Does that make sense? If we have the motivation to get up every morning and to tackle the things that are going to get me to where my why is or what my why is, you're darn tootin' I'm going to do it. I'm going to get up every morning and do that. Because there's enough motivation behind that emotion to push me and propel me to do it. But in order for me to have found that, I needed to become vulnerable. Now, there's another topic that came up for vulnerability. And she was sharing with me how... and. I've done a video on this before, so I'm not speaking just about her. I'm actually speaking about me. Um, There was a time when I had a stack of drawing slips that I had collected from an event. And I had already contacted the winner, but I had left the other slips unattended. I left them in a box and I just left them there for like three years. And when I pulled them out, I thought to myself, Edie, just throw them away. Nobody's going to know the difference. Just throw them away. And it's way too late for you to be contacting these people now. And then I had a thought. And the thought was, you know, Edie, what if you just tell them the truth? What if you say, look, I totally understand that my call is way out in left field Um, I spoke to you like three years ago and I totally dropped the ball and I never called you and I never contacted you. And for that, I'm so sorry, but you know what? I feel that it's never too late. And so today I'm calling you to one, apologize, but two, to make sure that you are still being taken care of with your Sensi needs, because that's what I'm still doing. Three years later, I am still in Sensi, and I would love to be your consultant, and I promise to do a better job at following up with you. If I got a phone call like that from somebody, I would be so emotionally connected to them with, oh, hon, don't worry, it's okay, it's not a big deal. You call, that's that's what matters. And the message that I gave them was completely and utterly 100% based in vulnerability. I became vulnerable to my feelings and to the ability of being ridiculed that I was vulnerable to them, that it dropped all guards. They did not become defensive with me and they actually empathized with me. Because I was honest and raw and real. And being honest, raw and real is the exact definition of vulnerability. Allowing your own guard to come down. So there's a lot of little messages in this video. And I would suggest that you rewatch it. Because I feel like there's so many messages in here that we as human beings need to hear. And that somehow I was meant to cha- to to channel this to you to um, share this with you so just understand that vulnerability is not weakness it's actually a form of empowerment to allow you to be the true person that you are meant to be and you're wonderful you are wonderful so why not Be wonderful and allow your emotions to surface and allow your ability to communicate increase because you allow vulnerability in. Become relatable, right? All right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. 
Um, please comment below with your thoughts on, on this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel so that you're notified when I upload new videos. I know I don't say that often enough, but thank you to those that have. I am truly grateful for all of my uh, followers and um, friends that I've made on YouTube. So thank you for that. Um, and I hope you guys have an amazing day and go pay it forward with kindness, would you?